I love it. I'm able to hike backwards right now because it's sandy. We're just um, uh, below Guyot Peak, which is right over here. And hiking along here, Nico. And this is about sunrise right below Mount Whitney. I stopped at a below Rhett that I really loved. The sun's just coming up right now. Start hiking about 1.30 at the summer level, about 2 really, and um, from Crabtree Meadow. Oh my gosh, it's just gorgeous, look at that. This is the view from the top of Mount Whitney coming around. This is toward Lone Fine. I have the whole mountain to myself. I just came up this morning and watched the sunrise from one of the ruts that you're seeing down there. The lighting is absolutely incredible. I've never seen it like this before. This is looking south. Coming around to the Smithsonian hut where you can sign the register. This is looking east. It's just incredible. It looks like a lot of clouds are building. I got to get down off this mountain, it looks like. And this is looking toward the north. And I'm going to walk around a little bit here, but it is just phenomenal lighting. This right here is looking at Tyndall Williamson coming around here to Russell, um, Lake Tuliano over here, and Looking down here, we've got Iceberg Lake that has no uh, snow on it right now. And here's the little plaque right there. Um, I know I shouldn't be walking around, but I need just to show you a little bit over here. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. There we go. And Mount Whitney at its finest. It's just beautiful. No people all to myself. There you go. Yep, it's hailing. And I can't get to my tent. This, ha this hail is coming down so fast. <laughs> I can't get from under this tree. Over, I got all my stuff right here and my tent's over there. It's, it's coming down like little pebbles. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm at craft hailing outside in my tent. You can see a little uh, hail. And I'm ready to go. I've got all my stuff right here. But I am laying here. And it's hailing, it's raining, and lightning, and thunder outside. It's in the afternoon. And I summited with me today and came back and have this lovely... You can hear it right now. So I just thought I'd take this lovely video. What it's like to be in a tent in a storm with thunder. And all my stuff's packed up. I'm not going anywhere. This is from Big Horn Plateau, one of my very favorite places on earth. Right now I'm, we're looking at Whitney, Tyndall, Williamson, all four tiers. And coming around to the south, this is in the morning and the storm is brewing of course. Lots of great light. It's just a photographer's dream. You have to sit here and just wait for the great light. And this is looking toward the east, toward the Kauias. And this is a little tarn that's on the Bighorn Plateau right here, one of my favorite scenes right there. This is going up Forester Pass, the top is right there, and this is the nasty chute that you see that usually is snow filled, and it, it um, switchbacks all the way up there, and then ends up at the top right here. So the trail is just an engineering miracle. It is amazing if you ever get a chance to do this pass just for the sheer joy of looking at all the, how it was built. But this is the famous chute that is usually um, treacherous to most hikers, horse packers, everyone. I'm going straight across it right now. And it's starting to rain. It's very windy. bridge that go crosses Woods Creek. It's a single person bridge and it's pretty cool. 
it's um, scary. going up the trail on Mather Pass and it is gnarly just the trail and last year we went up it in the snow in the route this is mainly for a wandering dot and wire how intense that ascent was got a hiker coming up here and the trail actually comes around over here and I'm going to be going up this with some nice switchbacks right here coming up this nice and easy but what I cannot believe is that we went up this in the snow and up that steep steep rock ridge so there you go the top of Mather Pass this is looking north and last year this was a snow cornice at the top and coming around here we just briefly down this. It was pretty fun. And this is looking over toward the Palisade Lakes in north. I think I said south before. I may not have. And for this mainly to look at, this is the Palisade Crest. It's got most of the 14ers right there. Um, north Palisade, Mount Sill, Middle Palisade, Norman Clyde. on Muir Pass. Camping here this evening. The sun's just going down and I'm gonna try to see sunrise in the morning. And here's around here to your hut. I'm the only one up here which is really cool thing. And coming around here. Got my tent set up. You can camp I guess in the tent but there's my little tent right there. And looking over here. We're gonna come on and back around. And we got the moon too. Sierras, it's Marie Lakes. I want to know who Marie is. She must have been one special woman. It's a Squaw Lake right below Silver Pass. It's one of my favorite little jewels in the Sierras. You can't quite see all of it, but it's kind of perched up on this ledge. It's a beautiful place to camp. This is looking from the high trail above Red's Meadow, looking at the minarets and Banner and Ritter along with Shadow Lake in the below and the waterfall coming down. <laughs> um, I'm gonna camp somewhere near here. It's just really a great view. Got the tip from the horse packer. Come on up here. And it was a good tip. This is a view of sunset that's right coming around here over Mount Banner and Ritter. This is above Red's Meadow. The sun just went down and right here are the minarets.
helicopter on the right side. It's, it looks like it's doing a rescue of some type. It's been hovering there for quite some time. And just coming off of Cloud's Rest on the back side. This is a cool trail. I hope everything's okay. Top of Half Dome, left in the... And almost at the top of the cables right now. Coming around here, just came up these cables and the sun's gonna be rising any minute right now. So I'm almost on my way up. This is the horizon right here. That's Cloud's Rest. I was just up there yesterday. And again, the cables are right here. And here's another view up that way. <laughs> Pretty amazing and brave. <laughs>